Hey everybody, this is Pete. Hope you all had an awesome and blessed new year. And I wanted to kick off the new year with a simple video that actually just came into the support line today. And it involves dimensioning to theoretical intersections. So I've got a part here that has a bunch of radii, but we'd still like to dimension as if these were sharp corners. So it's actually a relatively simple process, but I want to give you a couple of techniques to do it. First of all, if we look at the part, I think an easy way to do this is if you actually design the part as a simple sketch. So if we take a look at the sketch, I actually designed it to all the sharp corners, and then I applied the fillet features. So the reason why I think this is a good technique, apart from being able to turn off fillets for a variety of really important reasons is when I get to the <clears throat> drawing and I place a view of my design, I can automatically grab the model dimensions. And when I do that, lo and behold, it grabs the ones that are already connected to those sharp corners. So that's just a really easy way to do it. But let's say that you didn't have that option and you wanted to do it manually. Well, we could still grab the base view, throw this guy in here, and now we can apply the dimensions manually. So the trick is to kind of start with what you want. I'll pick this point. But then when we get to the next point, uh, whoops, sorry, pick on this line here. But when we get to that, we need to right click and do an intersection because I don't want to actually dimension to this line. I want to dimension to that point. So by clicking on the intersection, it allows me to say, well, I want a dimension from this point, but the intersection of this line and this line. And it puts these little trace lines in here so you can see where that little intersection would be. So if I wanted to do that again, I could say I wanted a dimension from this line, intersection, there we get that point, to this line. And now you get a decision, right? Because it could just dimension to the bottom of that line, but the top is going to the theoretical intersection. Or I could still right click, do intersection again, and then I could choose that intersection point. So like I said, you have a couple of options there. <clears throat> and then we could also start it from the intersection point and then go to this angle line but again, picking its intersection point. So with just a couple of right clicks, you're able to really quickly put those types of dimensions in. So just a really quick hitting tip today. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.